Now we're going to find the equation of the line segment AB. I'm going to redraw it here. The x axis and the y axis. If you remember, there was one point. This is point A, which is 3.50. Point B, which is 4, 4. This is point C, which is 0. 5.5 and I am going to find over here the line the equation of the line segment which is this whole area all this in here that shaded area of course well, we usually find the equation of a line we use the formula f of x is equal to y plus zero but if you remember, we are doing this with across the we are spinning this across the y-axis with respect. This equation has to be with respect to y. So this is going to be y equals x plus zero. First, you need to find the slope of this line segment. Of course, line A B, and we need the formula is m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This is to find the slope of the line segment, of course. Um, this is, will be x1 and y1. These over here will be x2 and y2. I'm going to plug in for these variables. We have y2 as 0 and y1 as 4, x2 as 3.5, and x1 as 4. If we subtract this, we get negative 4 over 0 0.5. Since we have a decimal in the denominator, we want to make these numbers whole numbers. So we're going to multiply both sides by 10. So will be 40 over 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. Gonna be sorry, negative this is supposed to be negative. But since yeah. they're both negative, we made them positive over here. Because you can't have both sides as negative. That would mean the answer will be positive 8. So the slope, which is m, is equal to 8, which is positive. Now, we need to use the linear, linear equation to find the equation of Line segment AB. I'm going to do that over here so I can have more space. The formula for the linear equation is just that one. y minus y1, which is equal to m times x minus x1. That is the formula we are going to use. We are not going to replace x and y because those are the num letters we need to make the equation. We're going to use the point in which we have x1 and y1, which is b. So I'm going to plug in for these variables right here. y minus y1, which is 4, equals m. m is the slope, which is 8. x minus x1, which is 4 again. That is what we have right now. Now we need to get y by itself. Yes, x by itself, yes, of course. So now we need to distribute 8 into this. So still this stays the same, y minus 4 equal to 8x minus 32. Now we're going to add 4 to both sides to get rid of this 4. It's going to be minus 4, min, uh, plus 4, of course, plus, I'm sorry, because if you, this is negative, so you need to use the opposite. So this cancels out. It's going to be y equals negative 32 plus 4 is negative 28, so it's going to be 8x min, minus, I'm sorry, minus 28. Yes, now we have y, but if you remember, we're doing this 
we're spinning this across the y-axis. So we need to add, the, we need to put this equation in respect to y. For now is with x on this side. So we need to get x by itself. The first thing we want to do is add 28 to both sides. So it's going to be y plus 28 is equal to 8x. Now we need to divide 8 by both sides to get rid of it on this side. On this side, it cancels out. So it's going to be 1 eighth y plus 3.5, which is equal to x. I'll make that look easier for you by writing it over right here. And this is the equation of line segment AB.